You're watching KSD3 News with Dave Reinhardt, Sherry Carr, and Allison Westfall. Welcome back, Kuna. Welcome back, Kuna. We're here at Kuna High School where the class of 2020 is getting ready to register for the last time. High school registration is this week, and chances are you've seen the high school and middle school sports teams getting ready. They look great. Yeah. Sherry, we want to let folks know about the change in activities fees that the school board approved Tuesday night. Well, as transportation costs have went up, we are uh, increasing our fees to keep up with that, and uh, we're trying to eliminate that deficit. And uh, it's a slight, a slight change, and they've just increased a little bit. And if you need any information, you can contact your school, and they'll help you out with that. Tuesday, the school board and community celebrated the opening of the new classrooms and cafeteria addition at Fremont Middle School. Now this project and many others are possible thanks to your support of our bond and levy. On Tuesday night, Fremont Middle School officially opened their new addition. Superintendent Winnie Johnson, the school board, FMS administrators, and students helped with the ribbon cutting. Last year marked the first time in CUNA history that two middle schools have housed students. The new addition features a big beautiful cafeteria and kitchen, eight brand new classrooms including science labs. School starts August 26th and like all of the other schools, Fremont Middle School is eager and ready to welcome students back for another great year. Speaking of our bond, KSD3 loves answering your questions. We have this one from a viewer. What's happening with the land that was donated to the district in 2016? Take a look. This 100 acres has been donated to the school district to be used to build a school in the future. And indeed, that's what we're going to do. It's donated by the Thornton family. And we look forward to uh, one day developing it. We're waiting for houses to be developed along this road and in this neighborhood before a school out here will be useful to us and to students. Uh, but we expect that to happen in, the, in a few years as sewer's gonna eventually get out to Falcon Crest and then we would like to tie into that. Buildings in the house will be used by fire department, police department for training and eventually the, that will lead to uh, their destruction and then once that is finished, we'll remove the buildings from the property. Now we love answering your questions and next Monday we are hosting a special Facebook live event at the La Tida coffee shop here in CUNA. That's going to be fun. We asked some experts in the district to tackle your questions about kindergarten. Make sure to look for our live broadcast Monday at 3 p.m. In case you missed it, a CUNA student is now a published author. Impressive. Yes, I caught up with him at his book signing earlier this week. My name is Frederick Jensen. I go to Hubbard Elementary. I mean, I'm going into third grade. And I wrote this book about my papa because on December 4th of 2018, my papa passed away. And I wrote a book to keep my memories safe with papa. I wrote it and Hasmark did all the illustrating and the publish. Hi, my name is Emily Jensen. And my son Frederick wrote One Amazing Day with Papa. Um, this idea came to him after um, December. We lost our, his papa and my father-in-law, and it was really hard for all of us. Um, during that time, I told Fred to write down any memories that he had with papa so that he could look back on them when he was sad. This has just been a very surreal experience for us. My name is Allison Jensen, and Frederick is my little brother. Um, when we heard that my little brother was going to write a book, we were all kind of shocked and surprised and very happy for him because we knew that he had so many gifts and one of those gifts was writing books. Book on Amazon or at the CUNA Public Library for $16.99. Thanks for tuning in this week and make sure to catch us on Monday on Facebook Live. We'll see you there.